After months of work, difficult decision making, and questions surrounding state aid, Mexico's 2012 and 2013 budget is nearly complete, according to Superintendent Mr. Robert Pritchard. We are just about ready to have the budget ratified or adopted by the Board of Education. Once that's complete, the budget will be ready for voter approval in May. And uh, the budget vote this year is May 15th, uh, which is the third Tuesday in May. Every year it's, it's, the, it's the third Tuesday in May, uh, which falls on May 15th this year. Tough economic times across the nation, including New York State, has made developing budgets especially challenging. Pritchard said the district has been very well prepared. There certainly have been a fair number of challenges associated with this budget, and, and typically in any budget year, because we're dealing with a finite set of resources. And uh, school budgets are centered on how we allocate those finite resources, and knowing that uh, we can't do everything we want to do for all people. Pritchard said the district's priorities have always been to maintain student programming while respecting the local tax levy. Our first priority is centered on can we support the academic program for our students. Um, this year's budget will, will uh, be at approximately $47 million um, and it will support um, all of our academic programs, all of our offerings, uh, as well as maintaining all of our elective courses. The tentative budget does include staffing cuts which, Pritchard says, are a result of declining enrollment. That we're proposing are really centered on declining enrollments, particularly at the elementary school level. Uh, and again, as I had mentioned earlier, some of the staff cuts that we're making at the secondary level are centered on the fact that maybe some of those in, in, uh, electives had, had very few students enrolling in them. So we, again, we had to right size the staff to make sure that um, you know we're dedicating, we're real, re reallocating our staff uh, in ways that. Um, take advantage of what students' int students' interests are. Mexico, like other districts throughout the state, are having to do more with less financial help from Albany. Pritchard pointed out that for the first time since the Great Depression, state aid has declined year to year. Very simply, we have to make up for that in a, in a couple of different ways. One, we're, we're obviously not able to spend as much. Um, and because we are seeing some declines in enrollment, we really don't need to, we don't need to spend as much uh, because we aren't servicing as many students. Pritchard said that much of the aid lost from Albany has been made up by having the Entergy nuclear power plant on the tax roll. That has, in a big way, offset the loss of aid that we've gotten from the, the state of New York. So that's some good news um, uh, for us. According to Pritchard, Mexico's financial stability is due in part to the board's decision several years ago to contribute to a capital reserve fund. Pritchard said staff cuts are always difficult. Early budget discussions pointed toward an $800,000 budget gap. To slash the gap, 15 staff members were slated to be cut. Instead, the current proposal will use some of the fund balance to restore five of the positions. Rather than covering the $800,000 hole completely, uh, we're about $200,000 shy of that, which will affect our ability uh, to increase our fund balance uh, by what we thought we, we, we were anticipating. So it's going to be about $200,000 less mm -hmm. that we would grow the, the fund balance. The Board of Education will finalize the budget proposal at its April meeting. Community members will be able to vote on the spending plan on May 15th. Pritchard said he's been pleased and impressed by the community involvement during the process. The greatest amount of input that you're going to get is going to be on, on the day that we vote. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's when we'll truly know um, how the community feels about the budget. Um, but I, I, I fully expect that um, if anybody has any questions about how we intend to spend our money over the 12-13 uh, over the school year, that they, that they contact me. Um, and I, I'm certainly happy to to sit and explain it because I know it's it can be very complicated. For Eye on the Tigers, this is Patrick New.